How's it going, people? I'm hanging in there. Things have been a little funky lately, but... At least I have my YouTube channel to get things off my chest. I've been trying to buy a house for the past four months, and it's not turning out the way I wanted. may have to buy another house. But I have a few things to share with you. Yeah, actually, six things to share with you. One of them, something I've never tried before, alligator jerky, Cajun style. And the other, liquid breadfruit, ale brewed with breadfruit and papaya seeds. I've, I've never had either one of these. One of them scares me a little. Let's start off with a Ooh. Well, nothing too unusual about its appearance. <sighs> Before I mess up my palate with uh, this, let me try it. Interesting. I think I like it. All right. Oh, look at the sucker vacuum sealed. Thought it'd be tougher. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little tough, but not bad. Doesn't quite taste like chicken, but it's all right. Okay, uh, I know. I said six things, didn't I? Here are the other four things. Four plain facts. All right, at least we're dealing with factual information. This is from Moments with the Book. Gospel series number 25. Hmm. A little chewy. Mmm. Mmm. Good breadfruit. <laughs> this is not starting off well. The Gospel of Facts. Gee, that takes a lot less space in my collection of Encyclopedia Britannicus. Um, the Gospel of Jesus Christ is a Gospel of Facts. They are so clearly and definitely stated in the Word of God that none should mistake them. The wonder is that many do. Let us share with you four of these plain facts, just four. Oh. Mm, alligator. Mm. All right. Fact one. All are sinners. Because that Adam and Eve thing. Um, both Old and New Testaments declare this fact. <laughs> now we're going into a quote. There is not a just man upon earth, not even Jimmy Carter, um, that doeth good and sinneth not. Uh, and as from Ecclesiastes uh, 7.20, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that's from Romans 3.23. Boy, they're building quite a case here. <sighs> Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. 
And so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. And that's Romans 5, 12. And I guess they're talking about Adam. I mean, a lot of people like to blame Eve, but I mean, she did come from his rib, so it's still his fault. Factually speaking. Okay. Fact number two. If you call that first one a fact. God loves sinners. Probably why he made so many. Not too fond of saints because there's just none around. This is also a blessed fact. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, not Apollo, <laughs> no, no, not Hercules, um, that other guy, what's his name, um, Jebus, um, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And it's John 3, 16. So, God killed his kid because he couldn't forgive. Because that was asking too much. Okay. The world, and then they start to, you know, paraphrase here, includes every man, woman, and child in it today. <clears throat> to give it a personal application, God loves you. To believe this fact dispels the thick darkness that disturbs many minds regarding God. And that's a Yahweh, or Jehovah, or Allah. Just in case you got it mixed up with Zeus, or Ahura Mazda, or any of those others. Okay. Um, this character... And his doings. Wait, um, many minds regarding God, his character, and his doings. Sorry, misread. Can you say, I believe that God loves me even though I am a sinner? I think I just did. At least I read it. <sighs> that was another fact. Okay, fact three, Christ died for sinners, which is more or less what he, they said in fact two. Uh, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. He died on our behalf, giving himself a ransom for all. 1 Timothy 2 6. And that makes perfect sense, you know, because God can't forgive without blood. All right. It's no less than he asked for Abraham, you know, to do, you know, kill Isaac or Ishmael, depending on which book you read. You know, just kidding. <laughs> All right. <sighs> he sacrificed. He was sacrificed for the sins of the whole world. That's 1 John 2.2. 2. It was not just for a special class or group of people that the Savior died. Actually, it is. They got to be Christians. That's a class. See how God's Word makes it plain beyond all doubt that Jesus Christ died for sinners? It was for all, for the whole world. Nothing can negate or contradict this great fact. That's what they said. Uh, do you believe it? Can you say, the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me? Galatians 2.20 This is how God wants you to appreciate it, to make it your own. Final fact. All sinners that believe are saved, which is kind of 
the same as part two and part three. All that believe are justified from all things, and that includes child molesters and serial killers, apparently, as long as they're sorry about it. Anyway, Acts 13, 39. Hmm. By grace are ye saved through faith. Ephesians 2, 8. See, they're finding all kinds of evidence here from all over the place in one book, one collection. Anthology. All right. Hmm. This gives certainty. I'm not even sure this is really alligator. It's certainty. I mean, can I be wrong about everything I know? That I think I know? That I believe I know? This could be turkey jerky. They're just jerking me off. All right. It leaves no room for doubt if you're gullible. Are justified and are saved meant mean now at the present time. It is not a vague hope or a pipe dream. Some it is. A grand certainty. A present reality. Doubt no more. They've given you the facts. Hesitate no longer. Believe these plain facts of God's word. This is some chewy stuff. As a needy sinner, trust the one who died for you. Supplies are limited. Um, and rose again as your personal Lord and Savior. Then you may know that ye have eternal life, immortality. Uh, 1 John 5.13 and enter into the enjoyment of his great salvation, as well as many other wonderful facts proclaimed in God's word. And that's the end of their factual statements. How did, what do you think, folks? Did this help you out here? I mean, I mean, how can you dispute these facts? I don't even know this is really breadfruit and papaya seed. They said it is. You know, I can go to this source here, and it claims this. It probably is. But this requires even less evidence. Just believe it because you, you want to. Anyway, I hope you learned something. That they have made beer out of breadfruit. Peace the fuck out. Yeah. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And uh, let me know if this video changed your life.